the CARICOM Gender Equality Indicators, known as the GEI, is the measurement of the situation of men and women in the country in terms of their social background, uh, economic background, or we can term it the, the socioeconomic status of men and women in the country. We measure the extent of the disparities between men and women in terms of their well their, their participation in society and in terms of the way in which they function, in which they, they, they go about their various roles in society. And um, the, the Caribbean gender equality indicators most specifically focus on um, five different dimensions. And well, these dimensions are economic activity, education, health, um, public participation, and also human rights. So um, these are basically um, the dimensions, and under these dimensions, there are indicators which um, measures the um, a country's Hello. progress in this um, area. We look at the share of women in managerial positions, the share of women in parliamentary decisions, um, women repre represented on um, even in access to credit, which is so critical for the empowerment of women on a national level. Are men and women, for instance, getting the same pay for the same job done? But you have to be careful when you're analyzing this data. Um, this is not only a matter of getting the same pay for the same job, but you have to look at seniority, for instance. Right? So you have to take other factors into consideration. But correcting for those other factors, the expectation would be that both men and women would receive equal pay for the same job. The gender equality indicators model is set up in like three tiers when it comes to the indicators. They base themselves on the 52 indicators which were agreed upon by the UN Statistical Commission. And now we have a project in which we're piloting, looking at member countries, Caribbean community member countries, and already checking what data is readily available, be it from surveys, be it from administrative data, be it from a population census. Well, we would capture this information from, from primary and secondary sources. And primary sources mean, means that we would have to conduct a survey in, in the field, most likely a household survey. So we already in Grenada have the our National Labor Force Survey, which is an annual survey. So most of the economic indicators will be captured under um, this um, tool. Um, there will be a proposal to conduct surveys to capture um, persons affected by different types of violence. And completing that survey will give us a better picture of, of the level of violence in our, our society. Um, it's, normally, it's normally the harsh indicator, but we want to open it up and get persons to be even empowered to speak and, and stand up against violence and um, rally the, the policy makers and rally society, the public and the private sector to put a stop or to terminate this, this un, unwanted, unwanted indicator. In Suriname, when you submit a budget, you would have to say as well how the, the budget, how the activities that you're going to undertake in the next year, how it impacts on boys and girls, how it impacts on women and men in the country. So it feeds directly into policy. So for us, it is very important that we make sure that we really capture the right information. Once we compile this data and conduct the necessary analysis, we will look at um, comparability uh, across the region, even across even the, the smaller 
region or the sub-region you can call it and see um, the comparability between our countries. Um, we we'll also look at how can governments, um, policy makers improve the lives. We we'll look at the shortfalls of um, the situation or uh, the livelihood of persons. We will look at what needs to be improved, what needs to be corrected. And we can even look at, on the other side, the best practices where we can build on the best practices and continue sustaining these best practices. We're making sure that is the nice thing about this. CARICOM, that is why the name is a CARICOM Gender Equality Indicators Model. So we're making sure that all CARICOM members will use the same minimum set. So some may do more. I know, I know for a fact that Dominica will produce more than is required because they've made that clear. But at least as CARICOM countries, we will have the same core set. So all our policy makers will be like on equal footage and they can better represent the region at one as one at international conferences.